that is wild. One point, you guys always bring fun things. Yeah, that's why we're here. They hatched in the wild. Dude, I can't wait to see this. You see it just be c converge into one. Wow. But the question is, what else do they share? Correct. If both twins are actively putting on growth, then it's potential that these things could survive into adulthood like this. I cannot wait to see this. We're gonna get x-rays right now. <laughs> Is which one's being? These two. That's hip and hop. Yeah, that's why we're here. They hatched in the wild. I know. You ready to see this? Do you mind if I take a picture? No, go right ahead, of course. I gotta take a picture. She's, not, she's gotta get a picture of this first. Uh, it's 11 days old. 11 days old. Or there. What's this one? Oh, I can already see something there. Fun. Yes. So, <laughs> crazy. You've never seen, yeah. I've never seen that conjoined twins in person there. Uh, here, let me get some gloves on, Chris. I'll take a, like, a look at this little thing. So they're 11 days old. They hatched at another Terrapin project. They're wild turtles. Obviously can't be released. Yeah. So they took them for a little while, tried to get them started, get them eating. No luck. Uh, so they asked us to take them. So just before, because we've had them for a couple days now, wanted them to adjust and warm up. I gave them little cut up pieces of flounder and some smashed pellets and they kept sniffing them and one even lunged for a piece, but didn't actually get anything yet. So we're going to try shrimp maybe tonight or tomorrow it, yeah that is wild and it looks like there's one cloaca but two tails that's what i was gonna say that is crazy the concern is yeah i see one opening pop up there like is one gi tracts not open there's a condition called like atresia ani we've seen like dogs they're not born with a, like um, a rectum so this could be a similar one in the sense that it doesn't have like a cloaca but time will tell but i think the x-ray can kind of see like what bony processes are fused up front they're very bright they're you know, moving independently of each other there. Yeah. It's crazy. Never they seen. never stop moving. What do they share inside? Is there some GI tracts that they share? Yeah, I think what's do what do is look at some x-rays and then um, we'll kind of see what that shows us. Now, the way that, that this occurs, am I correct in understanding this? Because I've had little time to even study this myself because I've seen pictures of them. I think I've seen them in a couple zoos, usually captive turtles that are conjoined twins yep. or even two heads, but I've never actually seen a wild one or held one of these in my own hands. So is it one embryo that splits off or two separate em embryos that fuse? I think it can be both there in the sense that they just kind of come together. I've only seen like the two heads. I've never seen the full, I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen turtles that have two independent like four arms up front there. We've yeah. got personal experience with twins. We hatched the twin Herman's tortoises yeah, well, the in 2015 yeah. and they were conjoined by just the yolk sex. So we were able to get them separated and, and they were fine. You yeah. know, one didn't live many years, but the other one is still with us going on its 10th birthday. And then we just hatched two twin Florida box turtles out of one peanut shell shaped egg, but they yeah. were two completely separated embryos, yeah. no conjoining at all. Yeah, it's so like two yolks were in there, but then yeah. Yeah, this one, I, my guess is there was two, but there was something happened where they were developing together. Wow. Um, yeah, crazy. And for it to be in the wild. Yeah. Because a lot of people blame these on inbreeding and, you know, this incubation is just temperatures. A, this is just a mutation, right? Or like, a, I have never seen that, especially in the wild, for you guys to find it too yeah. as well. I mean, been... So let's stir the pot though. Yeah. Look at this. I'm still trying to find out how old, old this terrapin is. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's not a baby. Also, a wild one from the same. Um, study site, but yep. you know, it's an expansive population, so they are absolutely not related to the conjoined yep. twins. But look at that, it's like a keratin, it's almost like a horn kind of like, yeah, coming from the shell. And this thing is it, is the arm trap? Oh no, it's like missed. Wow, yeah, it's definitely. I don't think it's it's one point. You guys always bring fun things. Um, <laughs> It's almost like a, it's coming from like underneath the shell. I mean, it could be part of its to, its its feet there. That's cr no, like this is like it's all closed off. It hatched that way. It hatched. It hatched way. like that. Yeah. And I got no like that's just and and I'm asking you know I, I don't want to give out names in case yep. I don't want their names, but it's one of the well respected terrapin conservation projects in New Jersey, like our project, just at a different location. I am. And the animal hatched like yeah, this. yeah, because you think it almost could be like trauma that made it come out like this, but no, if it yeah. was hatched that way, almost like it's a, a like another appendage essentially or part of that thing that just when it was developing its bone fused to the shell potentially never mm -hmm. fully developed but I would it also it has you know it's it's riddled with extra scoots it yep. doesn't have proper scoot alignment but I mean the animal swims well yep. it's got a voracious appetite I think so, we can take an x-ray and just see if there's any bone inside of that thing okay. and see what that looks like yeah definitely percent cool yeah let's get some x-rays and we'll cool. go from there okay all right let's bring these little nuggets okay sometimes if you can see can I just put a little piece of paper to that's better. We can kind of see a little bit. 
Yeah, their spines Whoa. are Whoa. Yeah, they're big, they're pelvic. It's going to be hard to get really good detail because of the size of them there, but it looks like their their pelvis is fused. Yeah, there it oh, is. Oh, cool. What's that? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's bone, but you can see where its arm was. Okay. Crazy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's wild. They share pelvis. They share a pelvis? Yeah, and their vertebrae is fused like they come together. Yeah, see, it's crazy. It's pretty cool looking, yeah. It's hard to get a better picture. I mean, the hope is that they can get them eating. They grow. We'd love to get another x-ray in the future there. Yeah, but, of course. Yeah. yeah. And then this this one is just, yeah, this is, yeah, they're both, they're both really funky there. All right. Yeah, that's, those, that little, those little things are, that's wild. Yeah, so you see like that, I think is the true like bony tail on, yeah. on this. Here. That makes sense. But then I think that other little one, and that's why I think we only see one cloaca. I think this is just like a loose appendage. Okay. But this is the actual tail. Like, I think it's just like soft tissue. And, but this sure. is the one that has, and if you look, I think that's where the cloaca is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. Dude, I can't I'm, wait to see this. So our little friends here, right? So you can see like we trace it. Like here's your spinal cord, right? Front legs, a normal turtle, right? You got yeah. like you got your humerus, you can see your, your scapula clavicle, and then it comes down, vertebra. Mm -hmm. Same thing on this guy. We got the up front vertebra we come down towards the pelvis and this is like where the sacrum and the pelvis i think get fused if we can kind of really zoom in you see it just they converge into one wow and then you see this one tail coming and just two That's sets right. of legs like you don't see an extra bones where it's like where there should be another like if you compare it to our friend over here i mean it looks like there's your pelvis right there right yeah, with the yeah. tail and two legs it's just that the, the whole caudal thing made one unit it's just it's weird i'll be honest i don't know how you'd expect to have more legs if it was just two turtles that got stuck together but i think they developed to, together and yeah shared up the caudal part of the, the hind end is all one unit but the front end is two separate units there. so they share a pelvis yep and it appears that there's one tail and that that second tail is just a fleshy appendage yep and i think you can kind of see that i think it's that little tissue right yeah, there but i can yep. definitely see it but the question is what else do they share correct is the gi how much of the gi tract does it come into one and that's that's the the concern here is is there two gi tracts that lead to like one colon or is one of the gi tracts closed off to the world you know and that's and that that's detrimental that would of be course, that yeah. would be that, would you know, be so that we, yeah i mean and i think it's one that we have to see do they start eating and if they start eating and they're both eating and doing well then then the hope is that they're somehow that close like, you know their cloacas do somehow connect together and they're so we need to essentially we need to give it some time here to look for quality of life correct if both twins are actively putting on growth feeding and it's not like one is slowing down and the other is still going then it's potential that these things could survive into adulthood like this yeah which interestingly our friends in france over at Saptom, they just posted a post of it's either a hermans or a greek tortoise the animal they're conjoined twins yeah and they're now fully grown adults yeah this might be something we don't have enough reports of them so and i think if they are both eating and thriving i think this would be awesome for the future for them i mean um right what a cool for a terrapin I've never seen it you know let alone most turtles you never see yeah this, but. i think i've only ever seen it in red eared sliders which no, you know, more often than not is a result of captivity because of yeah. how overbred red eared sliders are. But this yeah. is a wild turtle or yeah. wild turtles. Yeah, this wow. is just an anomaly. We, uh, we probably, it probably maybe does happen a little more commonly than we, but and maybe it does happen. But it never there. would survive. It would be picked off immediately Correct. Yep. by a predator. So uh, okay. like being in captivity, it's just can they survive? And wow. time will tell. <laughs> okay, so what about uh, Claudia? Yeah, and then we Claudia go Claudia. Here. And so <laughs> we go here. And so you see your, her, I think it's her le right leg is normal, right? You got your, mm -hmm. your, your radius and ulna, you got your humerus. And then we start seeing like, what a very pronounced here, like her clavicle and scapula, like they're very pronounced here, right? But mm -hmm. when you come to this side, look how small it is. I mean, it's very, it's mm -hmm. very, but there's no humerus. I mean, I don't think this is, I think this almost looks like a scoot that went out on its own. I mean, it's weird, okay. but it's, or it's like a, like a bony Is it growth. keratin or bone? I think given how dense it, it is, I, th I think it's bone. I think it has bony carrot, but like it's connected, but it's not the humerus. Right? I mean, look, it's not, yeah, you don't have that bone. Yeah. You could maybe argue this is me a piece of a bone. Like, see how you have like your thicker outsides and thinner inside, but I don't, it, why would it be there? That's, that's a little bit odd. It's weird. Um, so I did find out, I did get a text back. This turtle was hatched in 2022 mm -hmm. in the wild and then held back because it wasn't releasable. Yep. So she's been around since 2022. I do have photos from earlier in its life, maybe when it was a yearling and it basically looks exactly the same. Yeah. 
that it does now. Be, be curious to how big this was. You know, did it's it grow in there? It's pretty notable, I think. Yeah. Two, you guys have two genetic kind of anomalies here. Here she is. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. See that? It kind of so just grew it there. At I mean, that point, yeah. the animal was a yearling, I believe. And look at that. It's just with the coloration. It almost looks like a scoot, though. Look at, Not, the, look at the, the, the bones of those back feet, too. Yeah, it gives you a the close look at just, yeah, they're basically rudders. These animals can swim in such deep water. The diamondback terrapins are, are brackish water okay, turtles, yeah. and they can swim in deep bays, and they can even spend a little bit of time in the ocean, and they, they don't drown, uh, you know, unless yeah. something's pulling them under. It's, they really yeah. can handle deep water. They're impressive. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Crazy. Really great. You guys go. So we gotta see if we can get hip and hop eating. I'm gonna try shrimp next. They were both interested, which shows promise. Yeah. Just being 11 days old, they could still be feeding off the yolk yeah. sac they absorb. So they're just yeah. not that hungry yet. Wow, it'll be interesting to, to see it's what happens here. Yeah. Okay, one last thing for today. We just adopted this brand new tortoise for the Be Wild Reptile Rescue. Don't be alarmed that the animal was shipped in a box, folks. This is standard, normal stuff. And this animal has been packed appropriately following any and all wildlife regulations to safely and securely ship wildlife. Like a tortoise, such as this guy here. Right, okay. Wow. Holy cow, look at him. He is stunning. Yep, it's a boy. This is Parker. He is a male leopard tortoise, and he is quite the blonde leopard tortoise. A lot of people refer to these as snow leopard tortoises because they're primarily white, yellow, or blonde. That's really uh, an incredible looking leopard tortoise. You know, the leopard gets its name from having those beautiful black rosettes all over a lighter colored, ground colored carapace. But uh, this guy is, is wow. Like he's got very few rosettes. He's mostly light in color. He almost matches his his skin. That is an absolutely stunning animal. So, sorry, I'm a little excited here. I love leopard tortoises. So does Casey. You guys know we have a little creep of them here. Some big adults that Parker will eventually live with. His story is he was found, I believe. Uh, nobody claimed him. They could not find him a home locally. So the rescue contacted us, asked us if we would take him in, and we said yes. So they sent him out to us. He arrived beautifully and safely. He's super calm. And man, he really is gorgeous. Something like this would fool somebody into not not being able to tell what species it is because he doesn't have the typical markings that you normally see with a leopard tortoise. So we'll quarantine him for a bit, make sure he is solid, but I am really not worried about him. He looks great and uh, looking forward to getting him in with the other leopard tortoises and keeping you guys posted on Hip and Hop.